Okay, so, um, unfortunately, uh, God's Breath is... Probably lower the sound, but God's Breath is... Gone. I mean, it's gone for good, unfortunately. Two times the unfortunate. Um, lost it to a hard uh, drive uh, migration. So, that was fun. And uh, I know since I had last played that um, God's Breath, that the mod packs and everything had changed because of the whole, all the drama going on in the forum. So, um, in the meantime, I have kind of cobbled together my own um, mod pack. Well, well, not my own mod pack. There's, um, I'm using the MVP mod pack, the mod variety uh, pack. I think it's got like a dozen or so. Um, the rest of them I added in manually. There's actually another one called Hardcore SK that puts this mod list to shame, to be honest. But there's a lot of stuff in there I'm not really interested in. Um, some good, some bad, and some just bloated stuff that some stuff I know I'd never use. Um, yes, the. Yeah, the the ants are gone for sure. We we don't have to deal with them anymore. Period. There are none of them. Um, there are a lot of new interesting things though. I imagine uh, by the time I uh, upload this footage to YouTube, I will um, put together like uh, instructions and links in the description. So, because I had a lot of people getting a hold of me after God's Breath and having issues left and right with that mod pack because it had changed and the original files weren't available anymore and you had to have the, um, ah, the, the damn configuration file from the app data folder and uh, it, it was just a fucking mess and I, I, I was only able to actually end up helping a couple people out figure it out. M most people had problems with it so... Whatever, we'll go ahead and generate a new large world. We'll just go ahead and use the random seed. Jabba the Eighth. I can dig, I suppose, as a uh, several really large seas. Some lakes, and I don't think ponds would show up on this, would they? Uh. We shall use it, though. I do still have uh, these three uh, lady AI peoples. Um, Hildegard is by far probably my flavor of choice when it comes to it. Uh, she sends more big raids than small animals and stuff. That's kind of what I'm after. We'll go with um, Rough, I suppose, because... I'm not great, but uh, I'm not total garbage either. We'll try and survive somehow, especially if I'm fucking cheating from the start. It doesn't even really matter now, does it? I will say this, though. I did figure out uh, something interesting while testing. Um, so with the development mode, you can actually um, arm colonists with handheld Avenger turrets, which is fucking mind-boggling and I I suppose since we've had a couple of uh, ice sheet or I guess God's breath what wasn't that in the tundra or something or did I I think I did actually go ice sheet I can't remember I, I'm pretty sure it was an ice sheet but well, let's go to a hotter region no no ice hell probably just uh, I'm honestly not even sure if we can find a place that's so hot it'll cook anybody I mean, to me personally, it just never seems like the hotter zones are ever fun enough. I'm always particularly partial to the ice sheets myself, but... I mean, I gotta change it up a little bit. I don't know who in the hell they are that say that shit, but 
I don't believe you, I guess. The actual tundra down here. Interesting. Must be the top of a mountain. Oh yeah, I guess there is a lake right here. Isn't there? Well, no, I guess it's considered an ocean. That's one tiny ocean. We do have fishing uh, installed, so that can definitely be a thing. Okay, what I'm... Uh, the only other thing I'd be looking for other than the heat down here is just two stone types. I guess I'll take limestone and slate. Yeah, somewhere where that'll melt you would be awesome, though. <clears throat> I did see this one mod I considered downloading. Uh, well, I did download it at one point. I even tested it out, and it's pretty... So, there's like a hot version and a cold version, but it's a random event. But it's, instead of a heat flash or a cold flash, it's um, it's extreme cold. So, I think it was negative 200 Celsius for two weeks. And then there's another version of the mod where it can go ne uh, negative 200 Celsius for two years. And then they have the heat, uh, the hot version of that. And it was, I think it was 2000 degrees Celsius outside or two to three weeks, and then there was the two year long version. Okay, and it would be cool. Yeah, 2000, unless it was a typo. I'm pretty sure that his native language wasn't English, but I mean, it's a 2000 degrees Celsius, so like, huh. Yeah, you might not want to walk outside during that. I imagine it was a typo. I'm not familiar enough with the metric system to be able to just offhand gauge 2,000 degrees Celsius. I know, I know the lower uh, ranges of uh, the Celsius gauge, but not the higher end. We need new people, and I don't have anybody that I had created before, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So I suppose we will... Instead of starting with somebody solo again, we'll just make us a few people, I suppose. Uh, it was negative 200. And then 2,000. Double, roughly double the heat of lava? Fantastic. I'm sure it was just a typo then. I, w I was kind of confused by it at first. It's like, why is he going negative 200 Celsius, but then he's jumping up to 2,000 Celsius for heat? Doesn't make sense. Might actually go ahead and roll with this for Gavoon. Probably change his clothes a little bit. He can keep the ski mask though. Well, I'll cheat a little bit, but I'm not going to start dumping points into all their stats and giving them bionic stuff. But I am going to be a little bit selective. We'll just say they went through a uh, an app, uh, an interview process before uh, boarding our ship that they exploded or, or <laughs> that they came out and hit the ground. Whatever. I was considering cannibalism, but I don't think they're going to need to rely on uh, eating people with where they're at. They should be able to grow plenty of food. That's mining, construction, animals, and social right there. Well, they're just going to have to deal with the whole heat issue. It still didn't seem like it was that much. Um, the highest I really seen was what? 
34 degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Celsius, something like that. That's not so hot it'll fucking straight up kill you. Yeah, 95 degrees. Eh, eh. <laughs> I, that's, that's much better than fucking negative 80 degrees Celsius, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to live in that weather. I have a hard enough time where it is here. I think that's all I'm really worried about with the cocoon. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> be a loser, you can be a lady. Military scout, no, no. Well, the growing kind of helps, but... I mean, if we're going to have somebody who's going to grow, then we better have somebody who's going to grow. I mean, there's a gatherer plus four. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> Herbalist it has that and more. Only a loss at social, which we already have that covered. There is the medieval farm oaf growing plus eight. God damn. Hard to give that up. <laughs> this colony is going to be raided by a bunch of fadies. Ah, oh, shit. Well, the next one isn't going to be, considering they're going to end up being a doctor and a medicine man. I don't know if we'll take a fourth person. We'll see. Green thumb, you can actually keep. I guess that looks good. You don't have to be particularly useful for much else. They did some interesting things with farming too. So now you have to actually till the ground, but it does give you a bonus. Uh, supposedly things grow twi twice as fast as what they did before on tilled ground, but that's you have to till the ground before you can grow. Yeah, all this extra bulk for a loser and Kavoon are... It's definitely not going to be good for these guys. Go ahead and save a loser. Reroll the name. Reroll the body. Because you don't need to be naked, damn it. Oh, that's some curly hair. Uh, it's not a guy, but I don't know. She may or may not be anorexic. That is a possibility. Now, I always remember having a pretty difficult time trying to get the right. Um, backstories for a doctor and whatnot. I don't know if uh, the list has been updated at all, but tech enthusiast? No. Imperial student. Definitely not. Mad scientist, a uh, possibility. At least, just, at least gives us that uh, bonus to research. This one has a better bonus, but it disables some stuff. I want it <laughs> that we want people to have. Um, no prodigy was that it? Six to research, six to medicine. There we go. And I don't give a shit if it conflicts game. <clears throat> I 
medieval doctor. Oh, it actually does give a decent... Oh, it gives... <laughs> medieval doctor, plus six to melee, plus one to medicine. Yeah. Uh, that's how I thought it was. Space technician. There's something like a space... Space Navy doctor? No. That balances with some combat skills too. Space researcher? Eh, definitely not. Sable's way too much stuff. Navy scientist with a whole plus eight. That's actually tempting. Might take that, but I could have swore that there was one for biology. I had a genetic scientists. That'd be it. No. I mean, that, those do have decent bonuses to medicine and research, but... No cooking, crafting, art, tailoring. To be fair, you probably won't spend too much time doing any of those things to begin with. I suppose we will just stick with the whole uh, Navy scientist. Sixteen of research, eleven in medicine is more than enough. Still has a bonus in social and with animals as well. Was there no biology? Yeah. He never stops sculpting, sculpting yard gnomes and considers this to be his true profession. That's probably why that would conflict with, uh, with the character, the backstory anyways. Healer is pretty neat too, since it gives a bonus to growing and uh, medicine. Uh, you, you stick with that, a loser. Psychopath is always good. <laughs> useful to have, I should say. Not good to have, necessarily, but useful. Very useful. Volatile. Those guys are always fun in prison architect. Um, yep, that's good. And you're wearing clothes. You don't need a hat. You're not going to be cooking. Guess we can add us a fourth since three seems a little small, I suppose. Me, anyhow. What's left to take? Soldier? Crafter? I'd probably say this is a soldier of some sort. Though these disable a lot of things. No, just doctoring and negotiating. Banished soldiers only get a plus to melee. a cheeseburger too. No, I'll tell you what I'll probably have later. <laughs> this is a cheeseburger pizza. Bacon cheeseburger pizza. Yes. But you guys are distracting me with foods and snacks. Um. Ninja assassin. That disable. Well, that doesn't disable much either. Though I wouldn't want to disable growing and whatnot because that might end up being a thing we'll need him for. Paramilitary agent. The bonus in the social isn't going to help us much. <clears throat> I 
rugby rugby player. Wrong one. <clears throat> There's a couple space marines. Which that first one has really nice bonuses, to be honest. I'll take Space Marine. Of course they make those. But hey, at least we're getting somebody physically fit in here. To uh, throw down. And save Wilder. Oh, I wasn't finished with him yet. And I didn't even save pull that. Holy mm, moly bully, yeah. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and give Rylder a uh, psychopath. And jogger instead of industrious. Okay, so that's done with our colonists. And move on. Uh, so another interesting thing is, I guess now with the this turret system, you actually build these turrets or you buy them as like an actual object, and then it gets used as a building material for the actual turret itself instead of just using straight steel to make a turret you have to use a workbench to create them beforehand um so there's going to be some new stuff that i even have to get used to since it's not only has the last mod changed but i've added some new stuff in too or not only the mods I've used before um, changed, but I've added new ones, I should say. I don't think there's any really any extra materials you would want to bring. I would substitute the, the silver, though, maybe for, I don't know, maybe the silver and the steel for straight up bars. Well, I know we need to have uh, steel anyways. Um, since there's another person added in, we will give ourselves 10 more snacks. We'll start with the pistol and the survival rifle. That seems appropriate. We're going to start us with a border collie, but... There's loads of food and whatnot to enjoy now. Um, do I have any alcohol? I have soda I can brew. Yeah, I think I might actually... I might have had a problem with the alcohol adding it in. No, there's wine, vodka. Okay, so we do have all the alcohol. Well, I think that might even be vanilla. And I was thinking of the, uh, of the uh, soda. Be good not to get those confused. Yeah, there's no extra weapons we're going to bring. Um, our selection's a little bit smaller, but it's more diverse, I guess? I don't think the uh, <laughs> the rail guns are a thing anymore. Which um, <laughs> is kind of a shame, but then again, they were kind of like... I mean... I'm already kind of cheating, so it's even more cheating. There is a, a better variety of armor. Like uh, those scythers, apparently you can make frames out of them. Are there frames like them? Steam holes, steam helmets. There's a couple variations of the power um, armor. There's copper, or there's hive armor, um, light, and then there's sectioned uh, power armor. 
pretty nifty. Yeah, the Avenger turret, we can, um... <laughs> I might have to spawn one. Just for the lols. Um, there's a large variety of new animals, too. I'm not sure if I want to bring any with me. Uh, the raptors are pretty neat. But they are annoying as hell. They make noises loudly all the time. And there's corgis. Uh, Happy Barras. And I, I think I'm not actually going to bring anything because I have another mod installed that um, basically makes it... Uh, it doesn't lock it. It doesn't lock animals to biomes. So there's a chance that any sort of animal can wander on. It doesn't seem like that'd be too big of a deal. <laughs> well, I, well, some of these are kind of weird, so never mind. I take that back. But I think, um, I think we're good. Another thing that is um, pretty neat now is there's like actual semi-decent structures we can take. This one actually has uh, ah, it's just shallow water. Wouldn't be able to fish into that, which is a shame. But there is an ocean up there, or the ocean, whatever. Not too sure if we we'll want to go all the way up there though to fish. Especially with uh, what we have right here. Though, of course, with a map like this and not digging into the side of a mountain, it's going to make things rather difficult for us. Um, well, I wouldn't say difficult as much as slow and tedious. Because early on, it's just going to be about trying to wall ourselves off and whatnot. But later on, it's going to become a pain once we have raids that are like digging through our, we'll just start busting down all of our walls and unless we start like double, triple and quadruple layering everything. And even then they would still manage to break through unless we're using some really decent materials. Have fun, Kavoon. Okay, so Rilder, you'll get the survival rifle. And you remember had, who had the next high shooting? Apparently, it's Pole. We'll have him take the pistol then. And these down here are. Rixie Paragons, a type of jellyfish, but it floats in the air by producing its own helium from consuming plants. So apparently they eat plants and fart helium and float around from it. Advanced trainable intelligence, so apparently we can tr we could train them to <laughs> haul stuff around for us. Is that what they were called? So we can farm down here. It's under, it's under food, isn't it? Cultivated soil. Get us some decent starter plots. Already going to be starting with the manual priorities. 
Hole's gonna be uh, doctor first, researcher second, and then everything else. Managing is another thing to bring up too. As well as crafting, or not crafting, but mending. But apparently, Paul's not bad at crafting. However, he's probably not going to be doing any of it. Or she, rather. Will be too busy uh, researching all the time. Don't worry about tailoring or smithing. Let everybody else worry about that stuff. I guess we could turn all this on for pull and it wouldn't really matter because Paul has higher uh, priority for researching anyway, so eh, whatever. Loser, your top priority is going to be growing. I doubt anybody's going to be doing any fishing, though Rilder will be doing some hunting. We don't exactly have a cook either, do we? Pole and Gavoon are both really good at training, negotiating and handling, of course. I believe those are where they're at. Patient, doctor... It all looks good. Okay, so, um, hey, Lib. You might notice a couple new tabs at the bottom, too. Uh, let's see. So, there's Manager. There's a Manager mod where it'll basically open up every possible thing that you can uh, queue up to be performed on a workbench or whatever. Everything why it's so laggy right now just click on current and um as we can perform more tasks we will have more options show up so at any times if i don't feel like looking for the workshop or whatever i feel ultra lazy i can go there and i think it might work eventually with uh training too so we don't have to constantly tell people to train the medical uh the medical tabs new as well it's just a general overview of all your colonists and their medical situations, the medical settings. And you can switch it to prisoners. Um, I was going to say there's the, the same thing uh, happens for animals now, too, I believe. Hey. No? Maybe there's an option for animals. I think there is somewhere. Anyways, moving on. Now we can, uh, <laughs> we can, uh, select it. Restrictions for all colonists at once. Damn it. My brain not working good. Uh, outfits has gone and changed. There's now the squad tab, which is really useful because now I can customize this tab at the top. Um, I can basically have the tab at the top filtered to a, a, a group that will be um, independently defending the base, I suppose. While everybody else works, I can just click on them at any time and put them in the action. Uh, so yeah, we've got inventory now too, which is really useful. It gives you an overlook of what all you have, of course. Um, is that it? I think that might be it. I had auto sell before. I had that mod last time. Um, and so these extra mods I, I included it don't actually go into the specific trees for security, power, crafting, agriculture, and whatnot. They're just on their own, so... Eh, I, I think there's a way that I could edit, edit them to have to unlock them by using the other trees, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not a coder. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let's see. Lumber. Let's unforbid that. Wait, what the hell happened to all the ore? 
Oh, there it is. I got worried. There's sometimes where there's uh, there's some occasions where there's even fewer mods and somebody's burning up. As long as you're not what the hell? As long as they're not dying of hyperthermia. I think they're yeah they're taking off all their shirts. That's fucking useful now too. They'll strip their clothes off when they get a little too warm. Oh, that's beautiful. So um. Research bench, yeah. I guess this will be our home. We shall take it. And take these other buildings. Kind of worry about this one, though. I don't see a door on it, which is kind of weird. And usually a bad sign. Usually there's not a door there for a reason. Very good reason. Um, go ahead and I should probably figure out what the hell I'm going to do with all these rooms first. Oh, there's already a table on everything up here. What? Dining hall, kitchen. Right below it, yeah. That'd probably serve well. Storage, workshops, workshops, main hall, barracks. That looks a good to me, uh. Also, a really nifty feature I found, and I like. I applied it right, which I don't think I did. Where is it? Oh yeah, I forgot about selecting building materials with right-click only. Because that's annoying. Yeah, disable all resources and new stockpiles. I, I thought that should have cleared these all out, but apparently not. Whatever. I can do it myself. But the um, the other one's going to be really useful. I want food in here. Did I know? Oh, they moved it. They moved resources to the bottom. That was. <laughs> it was fucking with my mind so bad. Resources was always at the top. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you just end up getting meat from them, unfortunately. You guys suck. So we could... Once we get finished with this first farm, we'll get started with our uh, first drops. There we go. And what do we want to grow here? Uh, potatoes? Sure. What the hell is an ultraviolet? High demand of soil. Okay. The shroom tree? That's new too, I believe. Spectacle. That's not new, but maybe that's the one for. No, it's just the regular flowers for paint sets. I think it doesn't really matter. Just grow with some potato plants. Damn it! In the meantime, we also might want to get them some bed spots laid out. I suppose sleeping spots, even. Not gonna get to sleep inside just yet. I gotta finish the farms first. We have that bench. Oh yeah, well, they're not gonna be able to even get to the research bench before we get them. Well, that was in goods and services. Resources. Hand sawmill. There we go. 
guess we could store the logs outside. That'll save us a lot of room, because I imagine we are going to be stockpiling lumber like crazy. Yeah. Oh, yes. In fact, some of these uh, plots were going to grow some trees, I imagine. Sixty, thirty-one, forty, forty, sixty-five. So I think it's like the poplar tree is the fastest. No, I don't believe it's it yields the most. I would like to speed until we can get some stockpiled. Oh yes, and we have dark nights again too. More potatoes. Uh, yes, please. Unfortunately, it is uh, warm enough so that I guess the men take off their shirts. Oh, please and thank you, Mr. Dealer, and just a little bit of speed. Oh, yeah, I, di I didn't even notice the uh, geyser right there. I was happy enough with this uh, pre-built structure. Oh, I am really curious about what's in here. Because <laughs> having another building this early on would be pretty useful. Yeah, was I could take this one down here. Just thinking I need one for prisoners early on. But I'm already thinking ahead, I suppose. Okay, let's go ahead and add a bill for some planks. Go ahead and do it ten times. And I think... Two tiles is only enough for three trees over there. That's a damn shame. Well... You know what? Chop the trees down. I may as well just grow potatoes there. Don't be that much a pain in my ass game. Luckily, it doesn't stay hot enough through the day to kill anybody. <laughs> what the hell is that? Dark grass. Grass for those who like to see dark grass. <sighs> what? Okay. I mean, I know it's a desert and everything, but... Well, we do have some plants around. Come on. Yeah, I know you guys can't see shit, can you? Building a fire for them isn't really going to make too much of a difference. <laughs> Especially if we close this building off. Well, I got to sell it within 30 days, I guess. But, well, I guess it is counted as a food. It's in the food stockpile. So, it's raw food, I suppose? I wonder if I can make a salad with it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I guess I could... Food prep table? Food prep table. 
then I guess we'll stick a real rep back in. Yeah. Also need, oh yeah, the resource stockpile. A couple of them, actually. Here and Outsides for logs. The ones inside. Uh, the one inside is for everything else. Yeah, don't fuck with me, game. I don't have that seed mod installed. <laughs> that is not a thing. Not now. Not ever. Yeah. Pulse upset about. Why'd you take off your pants? I mean, if you want to take off your top and get killed by Great Kinnear, that's one thing. But don't take off your pants. Whatever. Oh, look at this. That's adorable. Now, they keep track of ammunition inside of your weapon. Neat. You can manually reload. I guess we could patch up this building with some logs. Planks even, but... That'd probably be better to do with planks, to be honest. Oh, it would be kind of convenient to keep that door down there, so... Or keep that opening there. So we will do just that. I'm going to close all of these off because we're going to use some for ventilation, I think, at some point. We'll go ahead and put a plank door here because I would like to enclose this all. So they don't have to sleep under the stars anymore. They can lay inside and sweat while trying to sleep. Oh, fuck, you're all idle. And research. Ew. Um. Crafting. Stone cutter. Meh. Everything is so important. Let's start with crafting. Because we need to start making blocks and... Shit, we're not even going to have many blocks. Smelting furnace. That way we can make... Steel bars. Yeah, let's start with crafting. If you road trip to a Pizza King, what should you order? Um... I would most definitely say probably their pan style pizza. Oh, well, it depends on what you like. If you like thicker crust, pan style pizza, but then they have like the regular pizza, which is real thin crust, but it's, it's fucking good too. Depends on if you like um, real bready pizza or not. So either regular pan crust, and then you go with barbecue sauce instead of uh, tomato sauce, and then just. Uh, Pepperoni and sausage. If you want to get crazy, throw some bacon on there. But I will guarantee you've never fucking tasted anything like it. I guess I could be building torches for these guys. Let's see if we can do something with this grass. That's jerky. Speaking of which, we could do some... Uh, 
make cat food. We could uh, do some hunting to make us some jerky. Uh, yeah, dark, dark grass is on here, so we can make it. Uh, <laughs> we can make salads out of it. I think it takes quite a bit of materials, though. It doesn't matter. I guess we'll have to do it with the potatoes. We won't have to do it, but yeah. So let's uh, make a shitload of salads. Why not? Just do it forever. You can also throw um, butcher creatures on there. Throw that to the top and then cook jerky forever. Yeah, I suppose we could get into mining. There are new materials now. There's bauxite ore and there's copper ore as well. I haven't seen any copper, but I haven't really been examining uh, much of the map since we got here. That wasn't obvious already. Uh, hmm. Okay. I don't see any copper. Uh, uranium is going to be a bitch to get. I don't even know what the hell we're going to be doing with bauxite. I guess we'll figure out at some point. We could be digging new rooms out in here. So let's um let's go ahead and give them a dig order too. Mine order. Uh, there we go. We can make that our prisoner room. What does this one look like? This one? Oh, there's three rooms right there we can uh, use after digging out all that ore. Bye, dude. For 10 seconds, I guess. If you found it, Gavoon. Here's your one chance. I deleted the other name because that was dumb. <laughs> and you didn't come up with it. Really, after all that, dude, you come up with shit town number two? Wasn't that Greber who went, who went, I think it was Greber who was table topping. I guess their names are close enough. Shit down to me too, I guess, whatever. Oh no, I guess it is Kavoon. I remembered incorrectly. I think it was Greber who was talking about table topping earlier then. Hey, hey, don't don't complain to me about the name. You'll have to ask Gavoon. <laughs> Gavoon. <laughs> Gavoon. Yeah, it was his decision. I take no responsibility for it. Okay, how warm is it inside? It's actually a couple of degrees cooler inside now, which is nice. 
It would be nice. It would be even nicer if they were to keep their fucking clothes on. <laughs> Useful at some point. So we're going to need to think about it. So, who wants to die? I like how everybody can sleep in now. So what time is it? It's the middle of the day. So, fuck it. Have a nap. There's another geyser. I guess we could kill, go after those jellies. The Rixie Paragons. There's also another mod I've seen that I... I think I almost installed it, but I just kind of skipped over it because it wasn't ever that big of an issue, but it enabled you to mark specific animals to be hunted as soon as they um, show up on the map. I guess there would be situations where that, that would be useful if you're... Pop, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> It'd be useful if you're heavy in hunting on the map, but... This is another hops plant on this world, so... Another hops plants? What? What a pop tube. I guess it could be a hops substitute. Now that definitely looks like a death trap up there. This I'm not so sure about, but I mean, it still doesn't have any fucking doors. 